In this video, I will try to show you how you can connect a 7-segment display to your Raspberry Pi Pico, and use the 7-segment display to display digits without using any library. Lastly, I will show you how you can use dumb display for the same purposes. For this experiment, you will need a Raspberry Pi Pico, a 7-segment LED display, and a 1K resistor, and of course some wires. Connecting a 7-segment to a Raspberry Pi Pico is not complicated, but sure will need some wirings. Connect Raspberry Pi Pico GPIO 10 to 13 to E, D, C and DP pins of 7-segment. Connect Raspberry Pi Pico GPIO 18 to 21 to B, A, F and G pins of 7-segment. Finally, connect Raspberry Pi Pico ground to one leg of a 1K resistor, and connect the other leg of the 1K resistor to both COM pins, common cathode, of the 7 segment. Please note that it has been assumed that the 7 segment display is a common cathode one. And the official Arduino IDE supports of Raspberry Pi Pico is used for the programming. Maybe, it is better for me to briefly show how to set up Arduino IDE for programming the Raspberry Pi Pico first. To set up Arduino IDE for Raspberry Pi Pico programming, go to Tools. Board. Board Manager. Type Pico in the search box. You should see the entry Arduino Embed OS RP2040 boards. Install it. Now, you should be able to select Raspberry Pi Pico as development board. Go to board. Arduino Embed OS RP2040 boards. And select Raspberry Pi Pico. Then select the port you connected your Raspberry Pi Pico to. Now, try upload the standard Blink sample to your Raspberry Pi Pico and see it works. Let's come back to the 7 segment display sketch. Lines 4 to 11 define the Raspberry Pi Pico pins to connect to the 7 segment display. In the setup block, lines 15 to 22 declares that the pins will be used for outputting signal. In the loop block, the segments will be turned on one by one, starting with the G segment. Line 28 delays for a second before turning on the G segment. Line 29 turns on the G segment of the 7 segment display. The steps repeat until line 50. After all segments turn on, line 53 delays for 3 seconds, then turn off all the turned on segments. Before looping, line 64 delays a second more. Don't worry, the link to download the complete sketch is posted in the description of this video. Now, it is time to see some action. Carrying on from last sketch, this sketch will show how to program the 7 segment display to display digits, without using any library. For a single digit 7 segment display, the code will not be complicated. Lines 4 to 11 define the Raspberry Pi Pico pins to connect to the 7 segment display. Lines 14 to 27 declare some variables to be used for displaying digits on the 7 segment display. Line 14 declares the pin assignment with the variable seg pins. Line 15 to 27 declare the on-off variables for the different digits, they are, none, error, dot, and from, 0, to, 9. The on-off value 0 means that the corresponding segment should be turned off. 1 means that the corresponding segment should be turned on. Lines 30 to 53 declares some routines for the actual turning on and off of the segments for a digit. The function getStates returns the on-off values to use for the given digit. 
The function turn on seg loops the on off values to actually turn on and off the segments of the seven segment display. In the setup block, lines 15 to 22 declares that the pins will be used for outputting signal. In the loop block, line 67 declares the variable C to be the next digit to show. Line 70 turns on the segments of the digit to show. After showing the digit, lines 73 to 80, advance to the next digit. Before looping to show next digit, line 83 delays for a second. Again, a link to download the, the complete sketch is posted in the description of this video. Now, it is time to see some action. Now, I will show you how to use dumb display to combine the two previous experiments with a 7 segment display. First, I will show you the sketch. Line 1 includes the dumb display library header file. Line 3 declares the dumb display object, which will do input and output with serial with bald rate 57600. In other words, you will be needing the dumb display Wi-Fi bridge for bridging your Raspberry Pi Pico and your Android phone. For a briefing of the dumb display Wi-Fi bridge, please watch my previous video Bridging Arduino Uno and Android Dumb Display App, Dumb Display Wi-Fi Bridge. Now, come back to the sketch. Line 8 declares the variable 7 seg to hold the 7 segment layer, which will be created in the setup block. In the setup block, line 12 actually creates the 7 segment layer object. In the loop block, line 16 defines the variable segs to the segment letters to turn on. Lines 17 to 20 loops and turn on the segments one by one. Line 22 declares the variable C to be the next character to show, starting with the digit 0. Lines 23 to 36 loops and shows the characters. When the character to show is the dot, line 25 shows it with the method set on to simply turn on the dot segment, that is the DP segment, then line 26 sets the character to show next to be the question mark. When the character to show is the question mark, line 28 shows it as the character E, with the method set, formatted, which is flexible and can be used to show certain letters. Then line 29 sets the character to show next, to be the digit 0. When the character to show is a regular digit, line 31 shows it with the method show number passing to it a numeric value, which is the difference between the digit character and the character 0. Lines 32 to 35 advances the next character to show to the next digit. Notice that if just shown the digit 9, the next character will be the dot. Before loop, line 37 delays for a second. The sketch comes with the dumb display Arduino library. Assuming you have the dumb display Arduino library installed, simply upload the sample DD7seg to your Raspberry Pi Pico. Then run the DD Wi-Fi bridge that comes with the dumb display Arduino library. Make sure to select the right COM port, and choose the matching bald rate of 57600. Note the IP address that is needed to connect to DD Wi-Fi Bridge. Now, go to your Android phone and open the Dumb Display Add. Click Connect, click the Add Wi-Fi icon, enter the IP address shown in DD Wi-Fi Bridge, then click OK. Finally, click the entry just entered. That is it. Hope you will find that Dumb Display can provide an easy prototyping option for your project. Enjoy. Have fun with Dumb Display.